chilly game. Little place, roughly 150 people, west of Mareeba, North Queensland. Not a lot to see in the town. Um, there's the old historic post office, which is now guest house. While it was operating during the mining boom, Chiligay Post Office was the busiest post office in Queensland. And opposite the Chiligay Post Office is the Post Office Hotel. Um, we're looking at a statue of um, the, uh, that's dedicated to the pioneers that uh, used a wheelbarrow to bring all their belongings um, and their family walking with them, I would assume, from Mareeba out to Chiligay. And um, every year, dedicated to their memory, they have the great Mareeba wheelbarrow race, which takes about three days from Mareeba to Chiligay. This is all that remains of the Bank of Australasia in Chiligay. Came to Chiligay in 1909, and during the economic depression, 1929, they pinched the bank and left the vault, and they took the building to Charters Towers. I think they should bring it back. It does have a limestone outcrop at the back of the town, which is worth going and having a look at because it's covered in boab trees, clinging on for dear life. Uh, not a lot else in the town itself. Now, just outside the town's a different story. Behind me here is the remains of the uh, old Chiligo smelting works which operated between 1901 to 1943. Employed over a thousand people, helped open up the interior of the country with its private railways. However, it never ever turned a profit in all the years, uh, but it did create a lot of employment. It's now fenced off the whole area here uh, where the old smelter was because it's uh, full of asbestos and industrial waste. Now, the superintendent of the mines commanded a good view up here. Um, nice spot, great evening and night breezes, and the cool of the night, but his workers, the miners weren't so lucky, they lived in shanties elsewhere. Well, this seems to be the spot where the mine superintendent actually had his house. Um, as you can see, this looks like the remains of a front veranda here. And what a hell of a view he had up here. It's fantastic. And um, the breeze at the moment, after a hot day here, is beautiful. The slag heap here at the Chiligo smelters, which are no longer used, of course, is the biggest in uh, Queensland. There's a lot of minerals still in it because of the inefficiency of the processing back then. The smelter operated between 1900 and 1945 and built up this slag heap by using railway lines with little trolleys and bell-shaped buckets um, which could be dumped either side of the trolleys. As the uh, slag heap grew larger, they just moved the railway lines. So the whole thing by today's standards was pretty inefficient. One of the other, well I wouldn't say strange things about this spot in the country here, although it's all the red, good Australian countryside, it's also an area where a lot of, um, of uh, lime is being mined, even today. And uh, I believe the, the lime is used in the smelting of, of steel. Also in this area, um, once again, Oddly enough, there's a lot of white marble mined in certain areas. So it's just about got the lot here. Copper, silver, lead, a little bit of zinc and gold. Had gold in the early days. There's probably gold here to be found even today. William Atherton of Chiligay Station actually found a lot of limestone caves out in this area back in 1888 and he began conducting tours, even right back then. So one of the other interesting facts that's come out of this information that I'm actually reading some of now, is um, that the limestone over the years is actually uh, the forerunner of marble. These bluffs and small cliffs you can see in the middle distance are actually seabeds and um, rise up as magma 
and the heat from the magma turns the limestone into marble. So there's an interesting fact about limestone and marble that I didn't know. Um, but I don't know everything. Even though my wife tells me I do. I'm standing out here in the middle of an old quarry, um, which is actually marble. Some of these quarries scattered around the countryside in the strangest of places. Now the strange part about it is, behind me over there there's a big hole in the ground but it's nowhere near big enough to have um, had all these lumps of marble cut out of it. This, this, this big machine you see here behind me is a caterpillar and I hate, and I hate to see old machinery languishing out here doing nothing, rotting away. Um, for the uh, petrol heads or diesel heads. This is a V12, I can't see the size of it on there. One head's been taken off, but it's got pistons nearly the size of my hat. So she certainly had plenty of power to tip these square pieces of marble up. I would say somebody then placed something under each corner and then it could slip the forks underneath and lift them up. We're at a place called uh, Mangana. Uh, Aboriginal rock art in Mungana National Park. This art is thousands of years old behind me and it's um, still um, fairly clear. There really is um, a grotto in here. There are caves and tunnels running off everywhere. Uh, an amazing place. Would have been a good place for the indigenous people to live. And um, there's even these amazing trees growing up towards the light from the bottom of this grotto. You can see these subterranean layers here, where it used to be at some stage under the sea, I'd say, the inland, great inland sea. Well, this is one of the many balancing rocks that you find around Australia. This one's fairly impressive because I think it must be attached, otherwise it would have fallen over. It's pretty hot up here today, um, and we're about uh, two kilometres out of Chiligay, so you don't have to travel a long way and um, I managed to climb up here with a little bit of difficulty. I've got my water, we always take your water with you and your hat. Um, all in all, chilly go, yeah, I'll give it the thumbs up. It's uh, a bit of dirt, a few dirt strips to get out there from Mariba, but well worth the trip. So give us the thumbs up if you like, subscribe and leave good comments. Thank you very much.